Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we used Kramer's rule to solve a system of linear equations where we have two equations and two unknowns. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Kramer's rule to solve a system of linear equations with three equations and three unknowns. The methodology is the same, but it takes a little bit more work. For example, we can find the x variable by taking d sub x divided by d, y is equal to d sub y divided by d, and z is equal to d sub, d sub z divided by d. Now, what is d? What is d sub x, d sub y, and d sub z? Well, they are determinants. What we're going to do is calculate the determinant of the coefficients of the x, y, and z variables, and then we're going to do it again when we replace the x coefficients by 1, 2, and 8, the y coefficients by 1, 2, and 8, and the z coefficients by 1, 2, and 8. So, that's what we're going to do. First of all, we're taking the matrix where we have the coefficients for x, y, and z. That's 2, 1, and 0. 3, 1, and 2, minus 5, minus 1, and plus 1. So we're going to find the determinant of this matrix. And then we're going to do it again by replacing the x coefficients by the constants, the y coefficients by the constants, and the z coefficients by the constants. In each case, finding the determinant. So starting with the first one, the determinant can be found, that's d, by setting it equal to, when we change the signs here for plus, minus, plus, we take plus 2 times the determinant that's left over when we block out this column and that row, so we get these four elements. So that would be 1, 2, minus 1, and positive 1. Minus 3 times the elements that I have left when I block out this column and that row, so I get those four elements, which is 1, 0, negative 1, and 1 and then plus, plus a minus 5 times the determinant I have over when I, when I block out this column and this row, I end up with those four elements, which is 1, 1, 0, and 2. So when I work this out, I have the determinant of this particular matrix. All right, let's simplify, and we get 2 times 1 minus a minus 2, which is a 3, minus 3 times 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0, that would be 1, and minus 5 times, that would be 2 minus 0, so I multiply these two and subtract when I multiply those two, I get 2 minus 0, and so this is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 10, that's minus 7. The next determinant I need to find is d sub x. I can do that by taking these three numbers and replace them by 1, 2, and 8. So I take the coefficients of x and replace them by the constants 1, 2, and 8 to find d sub x. So I get the very same matrix. I replace 2, 1, 0 by 1, 2, 8. I leave the other columns alone, 3, 1, and 2, minus 5, minus 1, and 1. And now I find the determinant of that matrix, which I call d sub x. So this is going to be, this is a plus, a minus, and a plus. So I get 1 times 1, 2, minus 1, and 1. So I get the four elements that are remaining when I block out this column and that row. Minus 3 times 2, negative 1, 8, and 1. And then plus or minus 5. And then I have those four elements left over, which is 2, 1, 8, and 2. So this becomes 1 times 1 minus a minus 2, that would be 1 times 3. Minus 3 times, that would be 2 minus a minus 8, that would be 10. And minus 5 times 4 minus 8, which is minus 4. So this becomes 3 minus 30 minus 20. Well, that would be minus 30 minus, oh, sorry, take that back. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. So minus 30 plus 20 is minus 10 plus 3 is a minus 7. All right. Now I want to find d sub y. So I take my initial matrix, replace the y coefficients by the constants 1, 2, and 8. So here I replaced those, two, those three. Now I'm going to replace those three. So I end up back with 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 8. So notice that these are now replaced. And here I still have a minus 5, a minus 1, and a 1. So now to find d sub y, the determinant of this matrix, this is equal to 2 times the elements here, which is 2, 8, minus 1, and 1. That would be plus, minus, plus, a minus 1, times 
when I block at this column, oop, that's a two and an eight, I don't want to erase it. So this column and that column and end up with those four elements, one, zero, minus one and one, and then a plus, a minus five, and I have those elements left over, which is one, zero, two and eight. And this becomes two times one is two, minus a minus eight, that would be 10. So that would be two times 10 minus one times one minus zero, which is one, and minus five times, that would be eight minus zero, which is eight. So this becomes 20 minus one minus 40. So it would be minus 21. All right, almost there. Now I still want to find d sub z, so I take the very initial matrix again, this matrix right here, and replace the y of the z coefficients. So I end up with 2, 1, 0, 3, 1, 2, and these now become 1, 2, and 8. And to find d sub z, which means the determinant of this matrix right here, I take 2 times, so this would be plus, minus, plus, 2 times these four elements, 1, 2, 2, and 8, minus three times these four elements right here, one, zero, two, eight, one, zero, two, and eight, and then plus a one, plus one times those four elements, one, one, zero, two, one, one, zero, two. And simplifying that, I get the following. So it's eight minus four, that's two times four, minus three times eight minus zero, plus one time two minus zero. So this is equal to eight minus 24 plus two, that's 10 minus 24, which is minus 14. Now, I'm almost there. So to find the x value, x is equal to d sub x divided by d, d sub x is minus seven, and d is minus seven. So minus seven divided by minus seven, which is equal to one. So x equals one. Y can be found by taking D sub Y, which is minus 21, and dividing by D, which is minus 7, which is 3. So Y is equal to 3. And finally, Z is equal to D sub Z, which is minus 14, Oop. minus 14, divided by minus 7, which is equal to 2. So the solution to that system of linear equation, equations using Kramer's rule is that X equals 1, y equals 3, and z is equal to 2, and a quick check will let us know if we're correct. So 2 times y, that 2 times 3 is 6, plus z, which is 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, that's correct. x is 1, y is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, minus 2 is 2, that's correct as well, and 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 3 is 9, 2, times, 2 plus 9 is 11, minus 10 gives me 1, so everything seems to check out. And those are the solutions to our system of linear equations using Kramer's rule for a 3 by 3 matrix. And that's how it's done.